Okay, so this one is for the Aquariuses, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you don't know your uh, rising and your moon, you will need to have a chart done. You can do this for free on many of the horoscope sites listed online, or you can go to a qualified astrologer and have one done for that as well. Okay, I'm not an astrologer, I'm a psychic, so I just pick up this information psychically. Um, I've set my intention to do readings today um, to pull up information that will most serve to do no harm. So if something does come up that may sound a little scary, it is to guide you and to assist you, not to scare you, but to bring your attention to something. Okay, and the reason I highlighted that one just now is because I've already tried to do the Aquarius reading um, twice. So this is third, three, to three times a charm, third times a charm kind of a thing. The energy that's coming out Aquarius this month is going to be pretty strong. And some of you are going to be putting yourselves in situations that you should not. Um, or you may find that you need to walk away from a situation because I keep getting this danger kind of a thing. Now that doesn't necessarily mean physical harm, but what it could mean is emotional too. So you, you really want to pay attention to what's going on in your world. What kind of people are you associating with? Where are you going on a specific day? Pay attention to that, please. All right, and no, I'm not seeing anybody getting injured, but the word keeps popping up. So with that, I'm, I'm telling you, this is a good time to really pay attention to your surroundings and what's going on in your life. There is also this sense of uh, feeling run over. Um, like some of you may feel like people are walking over you, stepping on you kind of thing. And that is also very dangerous because that, that's not good for your psyche. That's not good for your soul it, to let people walk on you and make you feel like you're being pushed down. So this is a really good time for you to pay attention to that energy. <laughs> feel like a broken record. Um, move forward at your own pace. Don't let others push you into doing something you're not ready for. Very important. I do feel like some of you are working really uh, with you. I was getting two little kids. So some of you with working with the littles, there's also a, a husband involved or a man involved. So if you're a guy watching this, there's gonna be uh, another male in, the, in your energy who may be dictating things that he feels like you should be doing. It's like a strong presence too. It's not just somebody in passing, but this is somebody who's strong in your life. Uh, the number 13 is coming up. So let's go look and see what 13 is for you. So I'm gonna pause this while I go pull up 13. Okay, so 13 is a very auspicious number. 13 is associated with the Ascended Masters. So that is a good thing. You want them with you, trust me. <laughs> so it's a sign that they're ready and they're willing to work with you. They're close by. So just speak with them. Ascended Masters would be, Jesus would be an Ascended Master. I should say Jesus is an Ascended Master. Buddha is an Ascended Master. Uh, Kuan Yin is an Ascended Master. Mother Mary is an Ascended Master. The list goes on and on. You can Google that. Okay, so it talks about the Ascended Masters being with you. And it also talks about making sure that you're grounded in earth and focused but it also says you're more focused in the material world. Okay, so let's see. It says, remember, as you learn the power of manifestation, your success in manifesting your desires depends entirely on your ability to remain focused in, on the positive aspects of your life. So stop focusing on the negative because you're bringing more of that to you. So push that out and think of positive. Each and every time you have a negative thought, Replace it with several positive thoughts. So eventually you will start to retrain your mind and your go-to will be positive instead of negative. Serious. Okay. It says, uh, let's see, by keeping your thoughts focused on your desires and the positive aspects of your life, you, you will attract positive outcomes. Uh, let's see. Um, I am going to leave that one there, but you guys can go and Google that at any time. Um, just type in 13 and behind it type in angel number or another website I like is Sacred Scribe. Okay. 
It does feel like the first couple of weeks of August are going to be the, more, the most tumultuous for you. I hear pause and then I hear blended family. So some of you are also going to be in relationships where you both have children that you're bringing into the mix. I do feel like going into September is going to be much smoother for many of you. Maybe not all, but for many. Okay, and then I hear test is done. So I feel like you're going to feel like you completed something big once August gets over. All right. As always, if it makes any sense to you, please feel free to let me know. And if it doesn't, um, maybe you want to sign up for a reading. I do these personal too. So anyway, thanks for your time.